Hey everyone, Landsman Oz here, and welcome to another First Look game. This time it's Godhood by Abbey Games. So this came out on the 10th of July 2019. It is very much an early access game, as it says down the bottom left corner, a 0.12.19 early access. Um, it's not finished, but the, and, and the devs do want to add a bunch more content. Uh, but at the moment it's it's fairly playable. Um, I've, I've sat down to give it a, for a bit of a look and ended up playing it for probably, I don't know, I'd have to, I'd have to check my, my Steam amount, let's go quickly, two and a half hours. <laughs> I sat there and I started playing and, and just couldn't stop. It, it's a great little game. There's a lot uh, of randomness in it, but the idea behind the game is you're creating your own religion. Uh, guide and develop your faithful disciples in the strategy a god game a godhood Select their virtues and vices inspire them to construct great temples ready for rituals to be held in your honor Convert worshippers defeat your rivals and become the most powerful god of all so it is a, a strategy game uh, and So far I'm liking the look of it Something a little different, but for the moment, let's just make sure I've got my windows open in the right spot. Uh, let's hit new game. And the first thing we do is give ourselves, the god, a name. So, let me see here. How should we address you? Um... And I am the one, let's go, um, move my coffee cup out of the way. Lens, the almighty. Yep, sounds good. Religion is called... Hmm. I don't know, like the worshippers can be, this, this is going to be children of the lands. Now, if you know where I get my name from, you'll know that that's actually a, a title of a book uh, in the series that I get my, uh, my, my lensman um, handle from. Uh, so we're going to call it that. Uh, the religion's just called... I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know. Um, Arisia. Again, pretty sure that's how I spell it. It's been a, a few years since I read the books. Um, what's my style? Neutral. Or... Now, the first time I played through this, I played as a, a peace-loving, light-bearing god. Um... I'm going to play dark. Um, colors black. That's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. Let it be known. Okay, now I think we choose... Alright. For as long as there have been people to believe, there have been gods to vie for their attention. Lindsay Almighty is one such god, destined to claim their place in humanity's hearts and minds. They would start with a single soul, destined to become the first prophet of Arisia. <laughs> that works quite well. I am Lenzi Almighty. From nothing, Lenzi Almighty appeared before Kuali. Kuali renounced their faith in the old god Quetzalcoatl and placed it in Lenzi Almighty instead. First, Lenzi Almighty taught Kuali about what is right. In my name, you will spread war. <laughs> You will spread spread war. Yeah, so the first time I played through, I played through as peace, um, and I thought, why not? Let's do this this first look as let's just go and convert everyone. The elders who worship the ancestors consider this idea to be dangerous. This will only lead to destruction and agony. That is the plan, and they could not see how they were wrong in opposing Lindsay or Marty. A sacrament was called to determine who is right. Prepare for the sacrament. So this is the bit with the randomness. Um, so you have these little these little battles, which we're about to see. 
and you, you'll see here it's, it's kind of a, a random draw so each there's there's types of um, characters you have classes and you can see these three are all different classes because they're all different um, images of them and it's a, a random draw so I'm gonna get absolutely nailed here because I drew the dazed card um, it it got rid of my life points that were up here and um, we got defeated but you're bound to get defeated in this one all right so defeat disciples grow more experience so we still we still get a bit of experience from losing but it's not good for them but let's proceed the elders were resolute in their judgment Kuali and a few followers were banished from the old city before leaving Kuali prophesied that one day Lens the Almighty would come back to conquer the old city one day we will return Kuali continued to travel for days with the exiled. The people were growing tired and hopeless. Finally, on a fertile and lush terrace, Lenzi Almighty spoke again. This shall be Lenzi Almighty's holy site. A new religion is founded. Alright, here's Kuali. Chill him. Um, so, this this is the, the intermediate area we where we have our people... Um, cast jobs and rituals and, and that sort of stuff um, and you'll find you can only do three you can only influence three things in each turn uh, so we're going to choose a disciple to perform a ritual the higher the disciples faith the better their performance so let's choose our only disciple Kuali to um do this thing here, which is the Holy Site Center. Uh, it's going to add a pros proselyzer. I don't know how you pronounce that. Which will give us plus 10 faith for 8 days. And it adds 1 to 2 children of the Lens. So, this is a way of getting uh, followers to your religion. So, Koali's here. Uh, we've got 50 offerings. We've got 7 worshippers out of 20. We can only have... Uh, and that's these every person has a like a, a power if that makes sense and and you'll see that once we get a few more um of, of these guys uh he's performing the ritual uh this is our level for our god and rituals happening at the moment it's year zero season one if we hit play you can see this is very slowly filling up we hit play and that'll finish the turn he's doing his little ritual here we go by praying at the Holy Site Center, Kuali's faith in Lindsay Almighty grew. The more faith a disciple has, the better they serve. Two disciples, in awe of this prayer, pledged themselves to Arisia. They were young Marathal and Knox. Lindsay Almighty commands, although they are devoted, they could do with more faith. Kuali preached to the new disciples, we must travel far and wide and prove Lindsay Almighty's greatness in the Holy Sacraments. Victory in the sacrament will convert new children of the Lens. With more children of Lens, the Almighty will grow more powerful. And uh, Lens, the Almighty commands, Go, my disciples, win the sacraments, and convert new children of the Lens. So, as I said, we currently have 22 out of 40. This is our leveling up thing. Uh, so the more people we have who uh, worship our faith, the higher my God level. Uh, and we will get the ability to have an offering stockpile. So at the moment... These guys are neutral. It does want us to go and send them in the world map and have a bit of a sacrament, otherwise known as a battle, and um, hopefully win over new followers. So we can do that. Let's do this. We've got a, a. This is the old city, which is a seven difficulty. This one here is difficulty of three. They have a level two, a level five, and, a, and another level two. And their team hit points is 20 we have oh, no i want to go back to city we have three people we have an eight a five and a five and i think i think we've got 40 i think this is our level here but uh, I'm, I'm not 100 percent sure so let's let's just do this click on here we're going to send people to the battle apparently it does matter where you put them but i haven't worked out how that piece works so if anyone knows that bit by all means let me know in the comments 
And you can see here these people, uh, the L, each people have um, different inexperience and too nervous to act. Uh, that's not good, but it'll be alright, hopefully. These two have two inexperienced. So it's basically going to be Kuali against God, this, this godless person here in the level 5. Let's start the mission. And I basically do nothing here, right? So um, this is, you know, all random draw stuff. So they're all going to attack. And then the other team's going to have a go. They're all going to attack. And it's the, the team that loses their life points first is the one that loses. Like, we've got some bonuses at the moment. Get plus 25 damage on violent abilities. Negative 50% damage on peaceful ones. So we dominated. Uh, so uh, they got a bit, a little bit more experienced. And now we can unlock classes. So you can see they're all like just carrying a stick. Um, this one's got the little horn thing. So I've just got to remember which classes we have. So as I said, there are different classes of character, of, of disciple. So we have Marathau here. Guardian, Rage Prophet. Executioner, Beast Walker, Zealot, Songsmith, Chieftain, Smite Sword, Weaver, Druid, and we're back at Guardian. I like, I'm, I'm, you know what? Spirit is plus fifty. They get all these. Oh wow! See, every 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 class has some different different abilities. I'm pretty sure the guy we got at the moment is an Executioner, so I don't want that at the moment I found that the zealot is actually a pretty decent class for to have in your in your group and druids are all right you got to be careful on what they want in terms of these things and I didn't really look at the last one so this one wants to be a rage prophet honestly or a smite sword Smite sword isn't too bad. See, it's not. There's not too much negative here. Proceed. All right now, now we go back to our um. We we get get a few converts. Go back to our village. In their sacrament victory, some disciples gained a miracle charge. These disciples are ready to perform a powerful miracle. However, miracles cannot occur just anywhere. Your disciples want to construct a new holy place important to the faith where they could enact a miracle. There we go. So we can now build uh, miracle buildings. We've got two here. We can build this one and we can just pick a, a thing. Uh, let's see. Storytelling circle. Um, raises charisma, increasing moral damage. Morale damage. Uh, raises health. Raises devotion. Raises knowledge. Raises health and devotion. Uh, raises might. And help, more, help them deal more physical damage. Raises cunning. Yeah, so you know what? Let's go tavern. We'll place that there. And then we have the ability to build something else. I'm going to build a prayer site, I think. Uh, and you've obviously got all these little areas you can build in. And it's a fairly big area that you can scroll around in. So I'm going to build it here. All right. Now, these two, because they're orange, can perform a miracle. So we're going to inspire a miracle. We're going to inspire this guy to go and do that one. And then we'll inspire the other one to do the blessing. And while we're at it, we'll get Kuali to do that. And then we're going to hit play or fast forward or whatever you want to do. End turn. They're all going to do their little stuff. <laughs> and then you'll get a, a comment. Already quite smashed, Marathel challenged a nearby lake to a drinking contest. Naturally, the lake agreed. Children of the Lens poured bucket after bucket into the lake. Marathau was still drinking agave booze well after the lake had flooded. <laughs> Crowd roared with junk, drunken applause. Obviously some sort of sign of my greatness. <laughs> Drinking session. 
Um, okay, so performed their miracle. Uh, so they increase the disciples' power and grant a chance of learning new abilities. So they've got plus two health and plus two devotion, and they gained blessing. Deal lesser divine morale damage and raises the crit chance of all allies. Scales with devotion. So Nox prayed to Lindsay Almighty, and they finally answered. Lindsay Almighty acknowledged Nox's devotion and blessed him and his family, except his uncle. He got a terrible disease. Nox's uncle obviously didn't <laughs> didn't need blessing. Uh, so he has she, sorry, I should say, has got plus two devotion. And added judgment. Massive physical damage. 8 to 10 physical damage. And then some other bonuses. And then Koali would have um, leveled up their, uh, their, their faith. So let's do this and this. And doing this for a reason because they need to level up their, um, their faith to go from neutral up a bit so I'm gonna take another day and we'll do this they should level up a bit worked obediently worked passionately you can click on each of these people and it'll give you a overall um, stat and you can see down here we've got yeah, currently negative 10 and um, so we'll Marathal's probably oh no they're plus 10 so the more that they do these um, these jobs, etc., especially this one, will give them more faith, and they will, as you can see here, this koali is ecstatic. Good chance to have a good outcome from rituals and miracle. High chance to do extra actions in a sacrament. So, it wants us to convert all the heathens. You can see this little, that's the quest we're aiming for. And then we've got other islands that show up. I don't know how much of this... In, in my first two and a half hours of playing, I managed to unlock this island and this island. So I got most of this done. We've got a few of these. We've currently converted, and I don't know why that won't stay down there. Uh, we've currently converted this town to be us. This one, you don't tend to actually convert, and it's kind of useful as a way of leveling up your people, from what I've found. Uh, this one here, we have a level uh, three, two, five, and two. Uh, we'll get a relic, and we'll get 10 more Children of the Lens. Let's go! Alright, so we've still got more life points. I don't know what determines what, who goes first, either. So, it got a, a bonus. Bonus task there. Knocked out 20 before they even had a chance to um, fight. You can see you've got this in interrupt sort of mode where some of your people will block others. Um, and there's also... Comes into play a little bit more later on is that each of your characters have something that they are better at fighting. Um, and I'll, I'll show you that... Just a second. I've, I've leveled up my god level. Um, I can click on this. Into level two. We can now inspire offerings stockpile and we can now have up to 22 um, worshipper support. Alright. So the relic that we picked up, one of your just people can can bless it and as i'm hovering over here you can see here divine represents heaven's judgment and connection with lenzi almighty resists ancestral but weak against nature so when you're choosing your people to fight in your sacraments you need to make sure that you look at what the other players have in terms of these um i don't know these these classes or, or abilities that's what it is element abilities um and and Choose wisely. Um, I'm going to use Koali here to bless the relic with dark. Oh. 
Flower of Charisma. Proves all miracles in the ritual. Okay. In order to collect the required offerings you, you require, your disciples wish to build an offering stockpile. Disciples could be inspired to lead the gathering offerings here. So once this little thing pops up, ding, 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 it's popping. Yep, there we go. This one, we're going to build an offering stockpile. <clears throat> and then we can now, you know, here's our offerings here. Uh, for them to do miracles, they need offerings generally. So if I click here, um, this is the, the performing uh, the, the, the ritual. If I want to perform a miracle, I believe, let me just... Let me just click out of that. Miracle here. Uh, it, it costs offerings. So if I wanted Kuali to perform a miracle, it's going to cost 25 offerings. And we don't have that at the moment. Either of these is 25. So in order to get those offerings, we need to convince these people to collect things. So I'm actually going to get Kuali to do that. And then I'm going to get you to do this one. And hit play. That's the end of that turn. And they got 12 and 11, so we got 23. It's still not enough to do the thing, uh, to do the, the miracle. Uh, if you click here, we now have a relic. And this can be equipped by a miracle. So what we can do is over here, we've got miracles. And we can go, say, the prayer site. Uh, what is it? Devotion... The tavern right, and what you can do here is you can click this and you can bind this and it'll give plus one charisma but it will cost you 30 if you ever want to take it off this site so I'm gonna do it anyway and we should get plus one charisma yep improves all miracles and you can also upgrade things but we'll get to that later so at the moment, we still don't have enough for Kuali to uh, inspire a miracle. So, you know what, let's um, see, Marathau here is now happy. Nox is still neutral. So if I wanted Nox to level up, I want Nox to do this. And then we may as well do all three in one hit. You can get some of that and you can get some of that. Let's do another turn. We go 12 and 10 obediently still at neutral but you're at zero good better than nothing let's go and do another fight another sacrament um this is four three five three i'm going to give it a go and as you can see here you can hover over this and it shows you that resists divine but weak against dark so it's good so they will resist the attacks here problem here is that these guys are weak against nature so this is actually a pretty pretty bad combo to have and the idea is, is we're kind of hoping that our people are better strength wise i think what you can do here is line them up against the the targets but i don't know how much the placement of this helps if that makes sense I've only played for two and a half hours. Okay, let's see what happens. Electro Mercy Strike Force. You see, a lot of our things will be fairly ineffective because these guys will resist their attacks. And we may lose this one. Very badly. And there it goes. Yep. So we lost our fight because we don't have the people required to beat this. They still get some experience from it. They'll be hurt, but they still get experience. Uh, so it's something that we need to... I won't get any... I won't get any levels. But it's something that we need to... to make sure our people are lined up correctly to fight in the sacrament. Several children lens have travelled to the holy site, eager to become your next disciples. You may summon these initiates and determine who is worthy enough to become acolytes of Arisia. Acolytes. Each disciple requires an amount of your worshipper support, so take care when making your selection. So, we have 12 available. We can click this, and then we've got a few new people coming in. 
So we've gotten these three. We're just going to reveal them all. Alright, so. We've got a Darian. Costs three. Decent on abilities. Okay on, on passives. Zuma for three. And then we've got Chim. And this is this is a no-brainer. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to take Chim. Um, already has a bloodline of the prophet. Chim was taught to believe firmly by his family. Plus 10 faith. Um, very high abilities. Pretty decent passives. Full totem is a good apparently rank. So let's hit continue. Uh, See so these guys are recovering. I am going to take Chim. And that's most of our points. So I can't choose another one because we've only got 22 available. I could have got both of these. But I, Chim was a decent pick. So let's hit to continue. So these guys can't fight or can't um, go on another sacrament until they're healed. So in that case we can go, you know what? Uh, Kuali can do their miracle. And your miracle will be... Yeah, I'm going to do this one. And then... Chim can do this. And... Nox can do this as well. Kuali's having a drinking session. Things are happening. Yep. And this, this can go badly too, and they don't get as a good a, a boost from it. So, new abilities deal ancestral physical damage. Yep, rend. So they got plus two health, plus two devotion, and the plus one charisma from the um, relic that we gave to the, to the, the miracle. Uh, we can now get a new passive, so plus two might or plus two cunning. Let's make a pure powerhouse. Blessed be Kuali. So it this 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 is how the game plays out. There's you basically continue going through the map and gaining followers and building up your god level and then developing your people to make them stronger to fight in the sacraments for you and gain you more worshippers. Uh, but again. It's a strategy game that um, has a fair bit of random in it. So sometimes your outcomes aren't quite what you're expecting, but if you work on it, um, you, bits and pieces become more evident of how you should choose them and how you should line them up. As I said, the first time I played it, fired it up, played for two and a half hours. Um, loving the game. My, the link for the game is down below. I did get the game free. Uh, the devs did provide me a copy um but that doesn't mean that i've i've said it's a great game because i got the copy for free this i really enjoyed playing through it and as you know for two and a half hours on the first play session is um uh, uh i guess a, a notice for that uh but yeah follow the link if, if you're after a, a copy of it yourself it's available on steam at the moment for let's see a little bit on the high side, it's 40, $42 in Australian. Um, but it is early access and it is a supporter. You know, you, you are helping them um, get a game off the ground. Uh, I'm not sure what it is in other cu currencies, so by all means, check it out on your own Steam store. Um, but yep. Came out on the 10th of July, made by, developed and published by Abbey Games. It's in early access. It's a simulation strategy, a god game by the name of Godhood. Go and check it out. Thanks a lot for watching. Comments below. And I'll see you next time.